Okay, that's fine. Let it run. <clears throat> Hello, today we're going to do a short video replacing a fuel line on a steel 021, 023, 025. They're in the same families, the MS210, MS230, and MS250 chainsaws. My name is Lee Smith, and I'll be sh showing you how to replace the fuel line on this steel model. The first thing you want to do is roll the saw up on the side, remove the fuel cap. Get a safe container and drain the fuel out of the fuel tank. Remove the fuel filter in the chainsaw. You can do this by using a fuel line tool here or you can use a piece of wire bent U-shape. After the fuel filter is removed, you can take the fuel line and drop it back down in the tank. Roll the saw over, remove the air filter cover. You can remove the air filter by using a screwdriver to prise up on the air filter. Remove the air filter. Remove the two screws that holds the air filter housing onto the carburetor. 8mm or 5 16 nut driver and or a socket will work fine. Remove the adapter. At this time, you can use a pair of needle nose and unplug the fuel line from the chainsaw. This fuel line is soft and spongy. At this time, you can lay the saw back over. I use a pair of needle nose, grab the fuel line, give it a pull, it pops right out. You can see this fuel line is real soft. The new fuel line has a texture to it. For installation, you'll lube this area up right in this here. You'll take the fuel line, go into the fuel tank, go through the hole here, the fuel line comes up through, get a pair of needle nose, grab the fuel line, get a pair of needle nose, and grab the fuel line, and pull up through the hole. Before dropping the fuel line into the tank, get a new fuel filter and install it. Drop it into the tank, roll the saw back over, get a pair of needle nose, grasp the fuel line, and give it a firm little pull, and it pops right up into place. Up in, you'll take the fuel hose here, and plug it right back up onto the fuel inlet of the carburetor. I do the fuel lines on the car rear, install the air filter adapter, the two screws that holds it on, tighten them down firmly and snug, install the air filter back onto the salt chainsaw, install the air filter cover. After the air cover has been installed, lay the chainsaw over and reinstall the fuel cap assembly. Pour fuel into the saw and you're ready to cut wood. And you have successfully replaced the fuel line on a steel 021, 023, 025. They're in the same fa family as the MS210, MS230, and MS250 chainsaws. These parts that you've seen today can be purchased at www.littleredbarn.net. You click on there and go to the steel as a chainsaw model. The category would be fuel line. And the parts you've seen today in this short video are listed there. I want to thank you very much for watching this short video.